I ran into America the other day. And you know I had to ask her a while before, right? I asked her, was it to threaten the cloth wearing heads of twisted languages or right to bear arms raping corpses a right to exist? I just want to know why we fight. Because I'm a private in this underclassman making corporate decisions to slay those innocent children. Homicide to suicide, there's no difference to the aftermath as long as there's an income to this outcome. How much does it cost to make a round of ammunition the price of a life, two cents to every, what'd you call it, America? Chink? But United American States, you have yet to answer my question. Is it because you're too occupied with your own civil injustice to answer a refugee's cries? Or because your tear ducts are just as dry as the oil pours you so eagerly sucked until their cries were silenced? It's as if the sand in their eyes wasn't enough to blind them to the idea that America, just a bully in this sandbox of war profiteering. Star Spangled Banner, you'll blind me no more with your whitewashing idea of a swinging dick contest. This cotton war won't stall me again. No quickies again, just a 10 year fault to come into a nuclear fallout, so catch it if you can. Mama America, please don't whip me again. I still haven't healed for my self-inflicted wounds. I try to occupy these cuts with bullet cases, hoping the heat from their release can mend my internal infrastructure, collapsing as if my red blood cells were suicide bombers. The tides have turned. America is attacking itself. She's all immune deficient to the idea of friendly fire. We are just pawns in a bigger match, responding to an attack. I wear brass undergarments to protect my genitalia, preventing the raping of another land. Sister Africa, Brother Asia, America has touched me in a private place. Can you protect my investments? But United American States, you have yet to answer my question. I'm beginning to think it's like the elephant in the room ceasing to exist because I can turn my cheek and bottle my emotions. Like the 218 refugees in the House of Representatives, it's your move. But oops, I forgot. I checked your name. I queened your pawn. America, I asked you why we fought, and you only responded with silence. So I guess we fight to have a voice. A voice to creep into every home and deliver a shot of uranium into the veins of freedom. I asked you why we fought. But I think I know the answer to my own question. I think we fight to have our sandcastles and doing the sandbox building it, but I could be wrong, so America, I'll ask you once more. Why? Thank you.